This is Talk of Iowa, broadcasting live from the Java House in downtown Iowa City on Iowa Public Radio. I'm Ben Kiefer. Pleasure to have uh, Nate Staniforth with us. This is interesting because you talk about um, sort of the development of magic. Uh, the people are not as fascinated as they were with, uh, at, you know, how many years ago with pulling rabbits out of hats and, and things like this. We have entered an age of sort of anti-magic. Yeah, I think the real issue is that of mystery. I think uh, the first goal of a magician is to engage the imagination of the spectator uh, because whatever happens inside someone's mind is infinitely more amazing than anything I could show them. And so if a, if a magician can succeed in just sort of prodding people's mind in the right places, I think the effect can be extraordinary. This is, where it's, uh, this is where it's important that you understand that I'm not here to lie to you tonight. I don't have magic powers. I can't see into the future. I can't pull a rabbit out of a hat unless the rabbit was there in the first place. I don't mean to insult your intelligence by pretending that I have uh, magic in me. You know what I mean? That's not what this is about. When you came in here today, you got a, uh, a note card and a pencil. Get it out. Here's what I want you to do. Take that pencil that you got on your note card. I want you to just sign your name. You know what I mean? Just autograph it uh, just so you could recognize it again. And then I want you to fold it like this in half so the writing's on the inside so no one can see and then fold it in half again. Does that work? Can you help me out? Sure. Uh, I want you to just take your hat, take around, get it from everybody. Everyone pass, pass the slips in. If some other people have hats, uh, that's fine too. Yeah, yeah, just, just pass them in. Do we have anybody with a hat over here? Can you help collect them over here? Yeah, that's good. If you're collecting the slips, just come and drop them up here on the stage. We just need to get all of them passed in. Are there any? Uh... Oh, we got the big one coming in. Good, good, good. Listen, I want, you to, uh, I want you to just dump them with all the other slips, and then I'm going to turn away, and I won't look. I want you to mix them completely up, so the, the ones from your hat mix with all of the other hats. I'm not going to watch. Uh, just, just mix them up and let me know when you're done. Are we good? OK, so here's the idea. I'm going to, I'm going to pick one. But I don't, I'm, I don't want you to think that I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to get one. <laughs> this one, is that fair? Yeah. You agree that if I hold it in my hand like this, I can't see what it is? OK. Yeah. You can have a seat. So here's the scenario. All of you wrote something on your slip of paper. All the slips were collected. I reached in and pulled out one. You mixed them up so I couldn't, I couldn't know where, where it was from. The idea here is that I'm going to go around and try and figure out whose I've got. <laughs> Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to go around. If I look at you, look at me back. It doesn't have to be strange or anything. Uh, <laughs> when, when you're a magician, you learn some, some very weird things, and that's, that's kind of what this is. If I look at you, just look at me back. <laughs> What's your name in the sweater? What's your name? Yeah. Colin. Colin. I'm going to keep it up here so I can't see it. What's your name?
You, stand up. What's your name? Emily. Emily. This is yours. <laughs> 